you like that line, I'll say it again. <laughs> Rado makes me look good, I make Rado look good. Well, I just can't wait. If well, you say that you have done the impossible, then I believe you, because that's what Rado stands for. And that's why I think I make such a good match with Rado, because uh, they're always believing in pushing the barriers and doing something that is almost magical. And uh, that's the essence that I like to live my life by. And uh, I think, yeah, Rithik, Rado, we are a perfect match in more ways than one. It was such a pleasure to be here. You guys will be tired of me now. But uh, I'm back, I'm here. And such a pleasure to be here as the brand ambassador for Rado, my favorite watch in the world. So life is, is about uh, trying to achieve what you cannot achieve. Uh, all the things that uh, are not possible for you to attain in your life right now does not mean that you will not be able to attain it. It's, life is about aspiring. And uh, if, if this watch can give you aspiration to own it someday, it becomes a, a mode of, of uh, uh, something that, that can drive you to uh, work harder. Like there are so many things in my, in, in my life that I wanted to have uh, like this watch, and it, it drives you to work harder to make your dreams come true. So it's aspirational, or asp aspirational cheese and johoti, and they are very, very important uh, for growth of an individual, of society, of country. So uh, for me, I see it like that. Well, you know, I've heard that uh, this watch has been through 20,000 degrees of fire, <laughs> and that's what makes it even more finer. And uh, I have been through my own fires, and I know that I have come out even finer. So it's like I'm wearing myself right now. You know, the Rado watch and me, we both believe in, in going through that fire in our lives and, and coming out better, stronger, more powerful, more solid. <laughs> Look, you are watching it like this. I was watching it in my life. When I was at my home, there was not enough money for vegetables. And I've seen my mom cry because uh, there was less money for vegetables for the children in the house. You know, uh, Rado for me goes back a really long, long way because uh, as, a, as a child, and uh, this is a true story. When I used to see my father wearing a watch, I clearly remember it was a Rado watch. And he had a really thick uh, uh, wrist. And uh, that solid piece of metal just uh, fit on his wrist really, really well. And I remember that I, you know, I, I wished that I would grow up uh, to have a wrist like that so I can wear a watch like that. And today I am uh, the brand ambassador of the very watch that my father was wearing on that wow. very wrist. So uh, it's kind of uh, like, uh, you know, a whole cycle. Uh, and uh, it's a proud feeling. I have a, thanks to Rado, I have a great collection of my watches. I'm very proud of them, very excited. There's one for each occasion. And, um, uh, you know, I'm just uh, hoping to uh, add on to that collection. Now I have another. Uh, it, it, it feels absolutely great. <laughs> I think uh, time defines a, a successful man. Success is nothing but uh, how you manage your time. If you have enough time to do all the things that you want to do in your life, and uh, if you can never have an excuse where you say, I don't have the time to do this, then uh, you're not a successful person, no matter how much money you have and no matter how much fame you have. If you don't have, don't have time to contribute to the people who love you, if, you have, uh, if you're living an excuse, uh, with time, then uh, you're not a successful man. So I believe that uh, time is uh, uh, something that, you know, it, life is made of. This is the commodity that life is made of. If you're not making complete use of this, then uh, you're wasting your life.